All right, well, this is take number three on this video because I just want to get this down as smoothly as I can, make it look really good, make it sound professional, although I, all I can do is approximate that. <laughs> At number 21, up one notch from 22, it is the cars doing magic. And boy, what magic it wrought on the charts. I forgot how high it went on Billboard's Hot 100. It's top 10. And probably, I might have took it up to number one on my fantasy playlist, but we're in the week of June the 11th, 1984. From Heartbreak City, produced by Mutt Lange. It's L-A-N-G-E. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. I'm just going to say Lange. Lange has this knack of shoving hit records into CDs. If Butt Lange is producing your CD or your album, you better believe there's going to be a load star of hit records in there. He did it with ACDC's Back in Black. He repeated it again with Def Leppard's Pyromania, the album that broke him in. Back in 1983, he does it with Heartbreak City by the Cars. You might think, first hit, spring of 84. Then it was uh, Magic, summer of 84, and uh, Drive. Ben Orr sang lead on that. That was in the fall of 84. And then Hello Again, one of the catchiest records on that CD in late 1984 by the Cars. All of these produced by Mont Lange, written by Rick Kasich, the lead singer of the Cars. The Cars emerged from the punk new wave scene, but they riveted, they uh, incorporated classic rock elements in some of their records. Um, First hit record was You Just What I Needed. That was in the fall of 1988. I mean, 1978, rather. And then, uh, I didn't like that song too much. I thought it was kind of a cheap imitation of Ohio Express, Yummy Yummy. It just wasn't quite there. But My Best Friend's Girl, the follow-up, I fell in love with that record. Got that rockabilly sound reminiscent of the 50s. It was a nostalgic tour de force for me. I was saying, yeah, these guys, they understand a little history. And, uh, and, of course, the song that sold me on them was, uh, oh, gosh, Spring of 1979. The song only went to number 41 or 42. Um, oh, what is it? Uh, uh, it'll come to me. Just bear with me. It'll come into me. And t let the good times roll. Now, that was a classic rock record more than anything else. Uh, later on, Let's Go in 1979 and uh, Shake It Up. That was a real big hit for them, 19, 1982. Since You're Gone was a very powerful record of theirs, but didn't make top 40. And now we come to Heartbeat City. Now let's talk about the video real quick. <laughs> Rick Kasich is walking on water, and it's magic. It's almost got a religious thing going here, but the effect was low tech. It was effective, but it was low tech. They put a plexiglass platform covered with water that Rick Kasich can walk on. It collapsed on the first take, and it took the crew ages to replace the platform. And I read somewhere that it almost didn't make the final cut of Rick Kasich walking on water. One other thing, the video was filmed at the Hilton Estate in Bel Air. Or was it Beverly Hills? I think it was Beverly Hills. All right, here it is. This is Magic by the Cars.